Sohil Seth. Uh, I think it's been a wonderful 15 minutes of great joy on today because it happens to be Earth Day also. I'm very happy that you made this wonderfully attractive uh, film with a very strong message. So thank you very much for doing this. And I do hope that uh, we have about 3,000 uh, children's eco clubs. So if we can distribute this, not at your cost, at our cost, <laughs> to all the school children, I think it will be a great step forward. Thank you once again. Mm. Lakshmi ji is a very talented person and from uh, Ajmer Sharif where she's written a lovely book on that, to come down to cartoons is really quite a jump. Thank you very much for being yourself. Thank you. Uh, I just second what Mrs. Dixit said and you know you were right in raising the, the issue of what is happening to, to the planet. But I think the biggest mistake will be if the environmentalists make it an us versus them situation. Because there will be resistance. You know what Jairam Ramesh and his ilk are doing is also not right. It's not about Jetapur, it's not about POSCO, it's not about any of those. I think if people in this country are made to believe that their own future is insecure, their own livelihood, their own, you know, existence on this planet is going to be weakened, then there will be an awakening, A, B. Mrs. Dixit is aware of this because we've done it for the Delhi government here. When we wanted to ban plastic, we didn't actually go to people like you and me. We went to school children. And they embraced the change more willingly with much more vigor than the old and probably the infirm would have. So I think we need to reorient us, our curricula. We need, as she rightly said about the eco schools, you need to create that consciousness. And I've seen in India, there is always resistance if you tell people what to do. If you make them believe that what they're doing is just and right, they will do it far more willingly and it'll be enduring in every which way. So my message for Earth Day would be that Earth Day is not about people who are environmentalists. It, it's about each one of us. It's about understanding the implications of not having a cohesive, harmonious, eco-existence with the planet. And finally, it's about bringing change at the bottom of the pyramid. It's not about the poor or rich. It's not about corporates versus politicians. And it certainly isn't about an us versus them. We all stand to gain. And if we don't, we shall all perish. Thank you. this could be a very good gift for each one of the children who sure. have one. Great. Thank you. And uh, once Doordarshan and other television channels uh, are free from showing, uh, you know, a hungry or a very satiated Anna Hazare, perhaps you could actually get down to real India and real Indian concerns and actually show them this film as well. It won't be as salacious or as TRP driven, but surely Ornob and Rajdeep and Barkha will agree. <laughs> Thank you everybody for being here this evening. It's been uh, uh, very special for me to have you with us this evening. Thank you so much. The evening doesn't finish now. We have a, a concert at the amphitheater, which is just across the courtyard, where we have a group called the Green Ragas. And they have fusion music, quite interesting. And they have a wonderful, it's a multimedia show with wonderful presentations of conservation and wildlife, along with interesting music. Please do join us there. Thank you, Sheila Ji. Thank you, Suhail.